Good morning, Chargers! This is Anastasia. And Nikita. Welcome back to another day of WRSN. In today's show, we will touch on the college fair and personal project presentations. Let's get right into it. Sophomores have been working hard on their personal project since the end of last year all the way till October 24th and 25th. Students got to be creative and learn about something important to them. Let's go to Sophia and Grace on how presentation day went for all of these long-term projects. Since over the summer, students in 10th grade have been working on their personal project. The point of this project is for kids to learn about a topic they are interested in and to help their community. On Monday, October 24th and Tuesday, October 25th, students were asked to present their project to 9th graders. The students had to create a board and talk about their process from the past few months. For example, Rhythmic Predator focused on bench pressing and deadlifting. So I wanted to bench press, squat, and deadlift like a certain amount. So I started with like a lower amount and then I worked my way up through five months, like four to five days at the gym every week, and I eventually reached my goals. So yeah, I saw a 25 pound increase in my bench, like 50 in my squat and 60 in my deadlift. Each student had their own goal. They created a product, and to mark their process, they created journals. During their presentations, freshmen walked through and looked at most of the boards. I learned that like people are very motivated, and they actually did like a lot of work and very like driven to do like goals and like the time management that I've seen within these people and like the pictures from like yeah they worked hard. Some people had samples, and others had their actual product displayed. Students started this project at the end of freshman year and finished it by the end of October of sophomore year. The best thing about personal project is just seeing the different things that the kids put together, all the different projects that they do over the summer. Uh, there's some really, really crazy cool ideas that I would never think of that these kids put together. This has been Sophia, Grace, and Nikita reporting for WRSN. Wow, those projects seem quite interesting. I wonder how much I can deadlift. In addition to personal projects, the College Fair was an opportunity for students to gain knowledge and explore the different colleges available. Check out this video from Alina. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Suncoast had not seen its annual College Fair in a while. However, that changed recently as the 2022 College Fair took place in person with over 90 colleges in attendance. From Florida State Schools to the New York Film Academy, there was something for everyone. Students and parents were welcomed in the auditorium and later had the chance to explore various breakout sessions. So how do you feel about the college fair today? Yeah, uh, you know, the college fair is, you know, it's really interesting and there's like a lot of decent colleges here. So you, know, you get to learn a lot of information about uh, what colleges, what the environment is. And I feel like that's really helpful in trying to make a decision, especially if you don't, you're not really sure, it'll help you like make a final decision. In addition to colleges, the College Fair also featured SAT prep and college prep companies such as Score at the Top. How do you feel about the College Fair today? I feel like this is a very organized event. There's a lot of good colleges here and a lot of good uh, programs I'm pretty interested in, you know, for uh, SAT prep and turning in my stuff for college admissions. Students were able to walk around the gym and speak to various representatives, getting their questions answered and scanning QR codes or picking up brochures for more information. Do you feel any more prepared for college after coming to the college fair today? I mean, yeah, I got to talk to a bunch of counselors and people there that they, they all know everything and I got to, you know, see faces, put names to faces and I guess they can do the same thing to me. They know my name now, so and they, all, they all have all my info, even though I already applied to the colleges I already saw but I feel a lot more prepared now, I feel more confident. Many students came with specific colleges in mind and others just wanted to see who was there. Were you here to see any specific colleges? I was not, but I just looked at Ohio State and I, I really liked that. That gave me good vibes. If you're a current sophomore, be sure to attend next year's college fair as this event is mostly catered towards juniors before and beginning the college application process. Reporting for WRSN, this has been Alina Gonzalez. 
The National Honor Society will be holding a meeting today in the auditorium after school from 2.50 until 3.15. Make sure to attend this monthly meeting. Are you interested in using your body as an instrument? Step dancing involves producing <laughs> complex rhythms through spoken words, hand claps, and footsteps. There are additions today in room 3108, after school 3 to 5. Come dressed and ready to dance. Are you into fashion and sneakers? If so, come join students in Ms. Shelton's room 3108 for the Straightforward Fashion Club. The first meeting held will be today where information will be said and questions will be answered. Make sure to wear your best sneakers. The Black Student Union game night has now been rescheduled to, to, to today after school from 4 to 7. CAS and VCS hours are offered if you want to submit an exhibit showcasing Diasporia. There will be snacks, pizza, and drinks available. Buy your tickets and join students in the auditorium for a fun and entertaining night. Do you enjoy problem solving and using code? Well, we have just the club for you. Today, competitive programming is meeting today at 3 to 4 in Mr. Donato's room, 3116. In this club, you can learn data structures and algorithms. Non-CS students are accepted. Puzzle Club meets today during lunch in room 3105. Come join students and learn how to solve Rubik's Cubes, brain teasers, riddles, wordles, and any type of puzzle you can think of. Join the Google Classroom with the code on screen. Flip the switch in your mind. Meet with, philo meet with Philosophy Club today in Mr. Lunsford's room 3303. Join the Google Classroom on the screen. If you want to learn how to play piano or just practice your skills, join the Piano Club. No experience is needed and lessons are provided. A meeting is held today in room 3135 in the chorus room during lunch. Make sure to join the Google Classroom with the code on screen. National English, English Honor Society is meeting today during lunch in Dr. Bussey's room. There will be a short story contest and officer selections are announced. There sure are a lot of meetings happening today. Enough of us, let's turn it over to Sam for sports. Chargers, it's Sam bringing you your sports news for the day. On Friday, the football team won their senior night against Spanish River with a score of 21 to 14. Great job to our Chargers ending their season with a win. Today, both the JV and varsity soccer teams will play in an away game against Cardinal Newman at 6 and 7:30. Good luck to our Charger soccer teams. That's all for sports today. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Sam. Now let's wish our Chargers a very happy birthday. Before ha Happy birthday, Chargers. Before we end today's show, we want to remind you to check our accompanying slides for more information about today's show. Announcements and extra details we cannot fit into the show. That's all for today, Chargers. This has been Nikita. And Anastasia. For, for WRSN. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>